All right, ladies and gentlemen, Phil here, and I would like to personally welcome you to my Shadow of the Colossus playthrough, the modernized version, 2018, here on the PlayStation 4. Now, for those who are longtime viewers, you may realize I've played this game before. I actually played this game way back when in March of 2013. It was one of the first playthroughs that I did that was full direct capture and live streamed. Before then, like earlier 2012 and earlier than that, for five years, I'd always done stuff with a camera pointed at the television. So it was one of the first games where I actually caught the essence of what the game looked like with direct capture. And I was playing the newly released HD remastered version of the game for the PlayStation 3. So it was really cool. Now, I remember in particular, I liked the game, but at the same time, the game was incredibly frustrating. And I raged and I slammed my fucking controller. I just remember there were things about the game, the controls, the camera... And the fact that some of these bosses are just very difficult puzzles to figure out that caused incredible rage. But at the same time, people really liked that playthrough because it was something very different. and something very outside of my comfort zone. I had never played a Team Ico game before. And in particular, I would actually say it was this game, Shadow of the Colossus, five years ago, that kind of turned me on to more artistic games. Because the game has almost no story, has very little dialogue. It's pretty much all gameplay. Riding your horse, getting to the bosses, scaling them, taking them out. That's what the game is about. It's not really about a big elaborate story, although there is a little bit of story there and a twist at the end. Um, it's mostly about enjoying and sucking in the great graphics, the, the music, the sound effects, the gameplay, and how every boss is a unique puzzle. That's really the focus of the game. Um, <clears throat> so I guess we're going to see how things turn out. The thing is, just for, for pure, you know... Uh, Clarification purposes here, full, what do they call it, full, uh, being very transparent, full transparency. I didn't go back and watch my playthrough again. That one time I've played the game five years ago is the only time I've played it. So there may be some bosses that I remember and I'm like, oh, I remember what to do here. You gotta do this. And other bosses I may not even remember at all. All right. And this boss in particular, doesn't this game have eight to 12 bosses? I don't remember exactly how many there are, but... I know there's going to be bosses that are not going to be easy. I just know it, okay? But, hey, I did it before. Hopefully, I can do it again. So, ladies and gentlemen, the 2018 remake of Shadow of the Colossus on the PlayStation 4. Let's do this. I'm pointing. You can't see. Let's do it. Let's do it to it. All right. And the first thing I see when I look at stream chat is someone insulting me. I love it. I love it. The first, literally the first thing. I look like, huh? You suck, Phil. Well, okay. All right. Let's play the game. It's, not, it's a good start. It's always a good start. <laughs> All right. I love it. Oh, English. How about some Portuguese, Brasileiro, Brasileiro, Brasileiro. I said the Portuguese, Brasileiro. Now we're going to do English. Ooh. I don't care about photo mode. I don't have a PS4 Pro, so I don't care about HDR. Home cinema yet. What is midnight mode? Limited volume during loud moments. Ah. That's actually kind of cool. Where you have the ability to make it so the volume doesn't blaringly loudly blow out your fucking ears and speakers. I actually like that. But, no, we're not going to do that. And a price. Okay. Adjust brightness until only one sigil is visible. Right now, both on my TV and my monitor, I can only see one. I can still 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 only see one. Okay, now I'm starting to see the other sigil. Okay, I don't see it anymore. There we go. The game automatically saves your progress. Yeah! Good. Ooh. In the land of dark souls, evil creatures have taken over the night. Humanity has been ravaged by pitfalls and beginner's traps. And disgusting monstrosities and abominations are rampant everywhere. It's your job as the chosen undead to light the fire, kindle the flame, 
become unhallowed. Take your weapons, add repetitive grinding pieces of things, and upgrade yourself to destroy the forces of evil. Wait, what's this? Oh, this does not look like Dark Souls anymore. Damn. Well, shit. Someone gave me the wrong script to read. Once upon a time, there was a boy with a chick and a horse. The horse was a dick and would not go across the sky. Oh my god, the horse jumped the gap. Amazing. Yes. Riveting. Yes. Forty-four K pins that is fifty bit cheering says Phil puts pepper on his omelet to counteract the salt. Okay, so here we go. By the way, these cutscenes were not in the original game, so this is all new. Ho 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 ho! And then, just when they thought it was safe, the trees came to life and shot poisonous, toxic darts at them, and evil swamp creatures jumped out of the bushes. Oh wait, this is not Dark Souls. This is not Dark Souls. No. No, it's safe. It's perfectly safe. Sorry. No, I get carried away. Excuse me. Ah, yes, and then it began to rain. The piss of the gods, as they say. Actually, this game has more of a Zelda vibe, I think, right? Especially if you played Ocarina of Time. It really gets that vibe. Here it is, the temple. You've arrived at the Grand Temple of Time, where you use the Ocarina to go back in time and save the play. Ah, that's another game. Sorry. I keep getting confused. Yes. Oh, 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 look at this view. That's cool, man. Welcome to the land of the Colossi. And if I remember, that thing in the distance is actually the final boss. <laughs> that big thing in the distance is the final boss, if I remember. Ah, oh, yes, the most sturdy construction. Look at that. It's lasted many millennia and will last many more. Even though it really looks structurally completely unsound. Definitely a cool artistic style, for sure. And that's when Rom, the vacuous spider, fell out of the sky, spewing its spawn all over the land. Oh, sorry. Shadow of the Colossus. Here we are, everybody. I just get caught up. What can I say? Here we are. <clears throat> New game settings or image gallery. Let's take a look at these settings. What do we got? Tutorials on. Dorman hints on. Photo mode off. Okay. We got the brightness already done. Motion blur's on. We'll leave it on. That's... I don't know. Was there motion blur in the original game? Oh, well. Let's see. Let's see how it, how they uh, apply filter. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Regular filter. Vivid filter. Warm. Cool. Woodland. Complementary. Mono. Bright. Emerald. Radiant. Frigid. Vibrant. Bold. Oh, my God. Faded. Reminisce. Look that one's got a film grain to it. Night. None. We'll just go on default, I guess. Film grain on. We want it on no matter what. No, we're not going to do that. Okay. Audio. I think we're good. Oh, shit. Man, I, I don't want... I hate... I actually hate when it plays audio through the PS4 speaker. Because a lot of times I don't hear it. Because I'm wearing headphones. So I'll be hearing like, what is that? Is there someone around talking to me? What the fuck? And then I thought, oh, it's supposed to be paying attention to something they're saying in the speaker. Let's just have it go through the main output. So I'm glad I checked that. There you go. Okay. Everything on defaults, I guess. Let's do everything on default. Alright, so here you go. World map is the touchpad. View the Colossus. So lock on the Colossus L2. 
Camera focus, L1. So it's all camera controls there. Unequip, change your ranged weapon. Change your sword, photo mode. So I'm never going to use photo mode. So it's change ranged weapon, change sword, unequip a weapon. Okay. Move around, left thumb stick. Rotate the camera, right thumb stick. Uh, attack with square, jump with X. Roll with circle. And control your horse with triangle. And then you aim with R1. Which I remember, that's how you aim a ranged weapon, I believe. And you grab onto stuff with R2. Okay. Very good. I'll remember none of this. All right, and we got subtitles and text on. Very good. Copyright. All right. It's copywritten. The game is 13 years old. I guess we should note that. All right, new game. Normal difficulty. There we go. We're ready to go. We're finally ready to go. Ah, it's Sinu. Come to me, Sinu. Let us explore the dunes of Egypt. Yes. Sinu now, very popular in games. You'll see e eagles showing up in many games coming up uh, due to the very popularity of the character in Assassin's Creed Origins. Yes. Welcome. <laughs> ah, the, the old self-opening doors. I love those. They always had those back in the day of, you know, stone temples. Ah, and the self-closing door as well. Wait a minute, there's no light in here. Can't see shit. What a dick. You could at least turn on the freaking light and the welcoming light for me. <clears throat> here we go into the temple. God's toilet. <laughs> he goes down there. There's a Colossus at the top taking a dump. Oh, yeah. Bombs away. All right. See, there's the water, too. That's where it flushes. I wasn't kidding. Here we are, the main hallway. An ancient temple, a main hallway. An unstoppable, overpowered magic boss who throws lightning bolts of damage and teleports across and grabs you, insta-kills you. Oh wait, no that's not this game, sorry. However, I believe these are sh statues that represent the different colossi. Oh, calm down there. Come on, Mr. Ed. Yeesh. Graphics look great. If this is real time, you know, rendered, they look really good. Oh, yeah, look at this because I can move the camera. Yeah, they're real time rendered. They look great. I accidentally, like, oh, oh, I can move it. Yeah. There's, a, there's a voyeur. He's taking pictures of them from the sidelines. Hope he doesn't see me. Gotta get this on page six. Mysterious link-like rogue kidnapped young girl. Film with Eleven. All right, here we go. Was you hit? How well yet for all? Yes, of course. I use I wonder if this is Japanese or if it's based on like a native language. It almost sounds like Native American in a lot of ways. Yes. Hakuna Matata. Make a lick a high, make a hiney ho. Was I Uku? Our Miss Quee You are a lot quicker.
Well, she's dead. You killed her. This is when Link... This is the accidental parallel plot line. You know, all those those parallel timelines of The Legend of Zelda. This is the one where Link accidentally killed the Princess Zelda. And he's like, ah, fuck. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look out. Oh my god. Hipsters. Hipsters have shown up. And they're all complaining there's no Starbucks nearby. We gotta take care of this right away. My god, they're all complaining. There's a bunch of SJWs. They're all complaining that there aren't enough uh, female tropes in this this uh, this temple. They're complaining all the colossi are male. We have to take care of these right now. Get out of here, bitches. That's right. Back to social media with you, you whiners. <laughs> Go back to Tumblr, bitches! No time for you here in this temple! <laughs> Thou possess the ancient sword of social media blockage? Unbelievable! How could you stop our whining? The four years drunk. Wait, your blanket. Your blanket's blown away, man. Go get it. Hurry up, it's gone. That was a three hundred dollar custom made blanket, you idiot. Is the Kim good? It is all of you, Iveriko. It's not all Amiazo. A little click if it leads to Izo. No, they laugh. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, you stupid shit. We're not doing that. <laughs> oh my god. No, the whole premise of Dark Souls is that you can't reclaim Lost Souls, actually. Ah. Really? So I, buying this on eBay actually paid off. Cool. Be destroyed by a PS4 controller. You do. You bet, Zanada. So I guess there's ten? Are there ten or twelve? I can't remember. Alright, I think there's twelve. Dun dun dun! Ominous! Ola, you do new. All right. Now I believe the light starts the beacon, and the beacon is each colossi. You're supposed to go to each one in order. Yep. 
There you go. There's the premise of the game. So this girl, we don't know who she is, apparently is stricken with some kind of illness and or she's dead. It's not clear. And your goal is to go kill 12, or uh, how, many, how, many, how many ever colossi there are. I don't know. And uh, basically, supposedly, what these weird voices in the temple are telling us is that if we kill all the colossi, they'll revive the girl. But they hint that there's going to be a heavy price to pay. And you're like... Hmm, I wonder what that could be. Hmm, all right. 